An absolutely insane video is circulating on YouTube that shows a daredevil holding onto the back of a speeding train by its windshield wiper. Who is this daredevil and what the heck was he thinking? I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. Welcome to Inform Overload where we discuss viral content. I'm Charlotte Dobre. A 23 year old man from Perth, Australia was sent to get a psychiatric evaluation after he climbed onto the rear end of a train and held on by the windshield wiper. I guess that's one way to avoid paying for the train. At this time the man's name has not been released to the public. The train was going 68 miles per hour or 110 kilometers per hour which is high key really fast. So basically if he fell he would have been seriously injured if not killed. Underneath the train there's rail and concrete sleepers. Mix that in with the speed of the train and yeah. Falling would not have been pleasant for this dude. At around 4:30 p.m. on Saturday, September 23rd, motorists on the road beside the train track took the video, which is now going viral on the internet. The man was spotted close to Glendalow Station. The train was supposed to stop, but it didn't. As the train approached Glendalow Station, the man moved back inside the carriage and would likely have escaped arrest if the train stopped. He was arrested when he arrived at the next stop, Stirling Station, by PTA officers. This isn't the first time someone has attempted a stunt like this. These stunts are so common they've got a name. It's called train surfing and usually people don't get caught. The stunt is usually uploaded to Facebook or YouTube after the event and the PTA doesn't find out about it until way after the fact. These train surfers want to get on YouTube, they want mainstream publicity. This was the first time officials were notified during an act like this and were able to act accordingly. After being detained he was taken to a hospital for a mental health assessment. He will likely face trespassing charges. At this time the PTA doesn't have a policy for dealing with train surfers, but it's now considering creating one. Honestly dude, next time just pay your train fare. Alrighty friends it's time to respond to a few comments. Wonder Women said, I feel like Charlotte always wears the cutest outfits. Mm, thanks. Summer Marie Hobson said, who's to say I'm a potato? I could be a carrot or a leek or a rainbow unicorn, a mermaid. Summer Marie Hobson, you can be whatever you want to be as long as it makes you happy. I personally am happy being a potato and I should be accepted for who I am. Alrighty guys, that is all for this video. There's a link to our Patreon right over here as well as a link to another amazing story about the mystery of the Easter Island statues finally being solved. Definitely click it and I'll see you in that video. Bye!